Welcome back, everyone, to Maverick Trading's IB TWS Tutorials, and today we're going to go through the Strategy Builder. As it suggests, this is how you can build strategy in the options market through the TWS software. So I hope you're enjoying these tutorials. Let's go back into IB. We'll hit the Trading Tools button, and from here, we can come down to Strategy Builder. As we select that, it will have a pop-up such as this, and I'm going to go ahead and maximize that. First, you're going to put in the stock that you're wanting to trade, and let's just put in Electronic Arts or something like that, okay? Say we want to trade a video game company. Here, it pulls up the option chain of the stock that you've selected. We can choose whatever month and date and time we want to trade. So let's say we're going to do a June expiration. Well, again, this is going to help us to build the strategy. We can just point and click. Let's say that we want this call option. I'm going to click and it puts it here. Let's say that we also want this put option. I'm going to click and it selects it there. So now we've built a straddle trade. We're buying a call and buying a put. You can click here to look at the profile of this. Whoops, it came over onto my other screen. So I'm going to need to uh, make this smaller so you can see the profile. And what it does here is gives you a full risk graph and shows you the breakdown of this trade. So inside of the strategy builder, once you open the profile, watch, I'll close the profile, I'll open the profile, and it gives us our max risk, our max reward, our break-even prices, and it gives you this risk graph right here that shows where this trade makes money, loses money. It even has percentages down here that give you a breakdown. So this is a really cool piece of software. Well, in this particular trade, you're buying the call and the put, that's a long volatility trade. So you're betting on either a big price move up in the stock or a big price move down. You don't care which one as long as it picks a direction and moves dramatically. You can see here that your risk below the zero line, your losses come in if the stock is more neutral, especially around 110, which is the strike prices. That would be the max pain point. The reward you'll see shows an infinite potential reward, and that's because there's no cap. There's no cap on how high the stock could go and how much this could be worth. But if we wanted to change this, okay, we can see that if the stock's up 30%, here's where the stock would be, here's what our profit would be. So at 145 per share, we would be up $2,280. You can see that if the stock fell by 30% and fell down to 78 bucks per share, we'd be up almost $2,000. But let's say we wanted to change this and go you know, a little tighter. Well, what if it moves less? Well, then you've got more of a problem, right? If this stock only moves 1% to 5%, Notice that you have losses here. Now, if it goes 5% higher, you have a little bit of profit. If it goes 5% lower, you've got some losses. But if it moves you know, less than that, moves 3%, 2%, 1%, we've got a problem. And here's your negative numbers. So you know, as you move this up, the bigger the moves, the bigger the profitability. Watch. If it moves 60%, well, now this is completely off the charts but we would have mass, mass profit potential. So this strategy, and it gives you the breakdown, is a long volatility trade. Well, okay, let's close that profile, and let's say we don't like that. We, we decided to go a different route. We think it's going up, and we'll just play it that way. Let's, let's go change things. We'll do a bull call spread. Buy the 110 call, sell the 130 call. Again, I want to look at the profile. Now, I want to change back to a more conservative rating. Let's see if it moves 1% to 10% to here. And what you'll notice is, well, this is a bullish trade. So we need the stock to go up. And in this particular case, if the stock stays flat around current prices, we're going to have a little loss at expiration. If the stock goes down, we're going to lose. And the more it goes down, the more we lose. Why? Well, this is a bullish trade. And if the stock goes up, of course, we have profitability. And the higher it goes, the more profit this trade builds. If we go up a little further, you'll see that our gains are capped up here, just as our losses are capped. 
So here we have a max reward and a max risk, and you can see that our reward is about twice our risk, what we would call a two to one, a little bit better than two to one reward to risk ratio. And we teach these strategies and these concepts at Maverick Trading in our curriculum. This is designed to help you to understand the software, utilizing TWS, building different structures. Um, you can add it to your watch list if you want to add it to a, a certain you know, area here. You could even use this little drop down list if you want them to help you to build a strategy. So maybe that would be a fun thing to show as well. Let's hit the strategies drop down. Let's say, well, what if we built a diagonal spread? Well, they say, okay, click on a leg to apply a diagonal spread. So we say, well, maybe I want, you know, instead of doing it that way, we'll go ahead and come and select. Let's go to June again, and we'll pick one of these, okay? And then we'll go to a shorter time period, maybe May, and we'll sell one of these, and now we've created a calendar spread. If you wanted it to be a diagonal, well, then we could change this to a different strike price, and now it's a diagonal spread and so on. So it gives you a little breakdown of, well, if you want help doing it, it can do it, or you can manually click. And I, I went ahead and manually clicked again, just for simplicity's sake. And then we see here, now as we click on this, again, we have max return and max loss. And what that little pop-up said is, hey, just be aware that this risk graph is as of the first expiration, which is May 20th. This is not calculating your get, your profit and loss potential through June. See, we're buying June, but we're selling May against it. The May will expire and go away first. The June will proceed onward. And and so with diagonal calendar type of spreads, of course, the trade morphs over time. But you can see how useful this is in order to build different structures, to look at their risk dynamics, to look at your max risk, max reward, to see what would happen with the trade if the stock is moving up or down in price. And you can see on the P&L, the profit and loss area, you're losing money, more losses if the stock goes down, more profit if the stock goes up. So that is a bullish trade structure. We want the stock price to rise. If we wanted it to be bearish, well, we would just go ahead and get rid of that and build some strategy over here with the puts. You know, we could sell a, a put with a shorter term expiration. We could go out and buy a put with a longer dated expiration and all of a sudden now you've got a diagonal put spread and as you look at the profile of this one again the reminder that this is just your profit and loss graph as of the first expiration but now notice how it tweaks this and now if the stock goes up you lose but if the stock goes down you make money it has max risk max reward as of the may 20th expiration and gives you that whole breakdown really good piece of software that will give you risk graphs, risk rewards, some probability numbers, and help you to build your strategy. Hope you've enjoyed this TWS tutorial. We'll see you next time.